Hello, hello, my name is Nick, and today I'm talking about what exactly is sell-in and sell-through rate for fashion retail. So what exactly is sell-in and sell-through rate for fashion retail? As a wholesale vendor, the people who sell the goods to the retailers, this is literally the explanation of pretty much your entire business. So the sell-in rate as the wholesaler to the retailer is the amount of money that you sell into the company. So a department store might come to you during market and they might buy $100,000 worth of goods from you. That $100,000 is your sell-in amount to the retailer. So it, why is this important? It's the money that you make as a company, as a wholesale company. So as the CEO of this company, they're looking at how much are we selling into these retailers? Because the amount of money that we are gonna put on our balance sheet, our profit and loss statements of what we're making from this wholesale business. So now let's talk about sell through. As a wholesale sales rep, sell through will be your single lifeblood of the business that you look at every day, every week, for sure every Monday when the sales reports come in, because that's when sales reports come in normally from luxury fashion retailers. And you'll check at how good are my products actually selling? How much do the customers actually want the goods that I'm selling to these retailers? And the retailer will look at it in the same way. They'll look at your business as how are my different vendors selling in comparison to each other on a sell through percentage rate. So what is sell through percentage? Sell through percentage is simply, they normally do it in units or dollars. They'll change slightly and I'll tell you why in a second. But a sell through rate in its purest form, if there's no discounting whatsoever, is simply the amount of units sold divided by the amount of units received in total. So if you sell three units and they had received in your first shipment or in totality 10 units, the sell through of that good is 30%. Three divided by 10. The amount of goods sold divided by the amount of goods initially receded. And the reason it's a pure example is because when you do it in units, it's gonna be straight 30%. But when you do it in dollars, Sometimes it's not that simple because if you sell goods, you're always gonna sell a certain portion on sale. There's gonna be, uh, you're gonna for sure have sale at the end of the season, but sometimes there's employee purchases where they get a discount. There's different things that will fluctuate your sell through percentage. So if you do a sell through in dollars, which is the amount of dollars you sold divided by the amount of dollars you receded, it might not equal that exact 30% because you might have priced at, at $300, but those three units sold for $200. So that will fluctuate your sell through percentage a little bit. So it's usually easiest if you wanna see your purest form to divide by the units. And when you're in full price mode, it really should be a good indication of your true sell through is doing the unit division to get to that 30%. So that's sell through and that's sell in. It's an overview of really the wholesale fashion retail business in a very, very short amount of time. But it's super important, if you have any questions at all, drop it in the comments. I'll respond to every single one. And as always, please subscribe. I would love for you to follow this channel. I'm putting fashion business videos out all the time. And we will catch you later.